Are you tired of presenting plain canvas pages to your students and you're looking for fun ways to make them more colorful, creative and engaging? Then you're in the right spot. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create these colorful borders in your canvas page, different styles, different colors and different width. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Bhavani Kola. This channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I am in my Canvas page. I went ahead and copied some random text so we have some reference to work with. And here our goal is to create borders around this paragraph or this text, various styles, various colors. To do that, the first thing you have to do is to toggle between your rich text editor to your HTML editor. So that is all the way in the right hand corner here. And when you toggle, it will say pretty HTML editor. That's when you know in the right place. And once you're here, all you have to do is, as you can see, let me zoom in here. As you can see, this is my paragraph P less than greater than, and this is my less than greater than with the P. That means it's telling you that you are on an HTML page. And all you have to do is to click next to the P, give yourself a space, and then copy the text that I will be placing or I'll be giving it to you in the description box below. And that's all you have to do. And once you do that, let me go ahead and show you the magic. Here is your border. How cool is that? So before I go ahead, dive deeper into how you can change the colors, the styles, it's very important we understand what this code means. So let me go ahead and click on my PowerPoint here. And this is the code that you will be typing inside your HTML editor. So when you use the word style, you're telling HTML, you're trying to style your paragraph. And what is that style? That style is a border. You're creating a border around your text. And the first one is your size. You can have two pixels, four, five. We will play with it so you have a better understanding. The next one is the style again solid, dotted, dashed, double, groove. Did you know you have all these that you can do inside your canvas page? And the last one is the color. I will show you how you can create your custom colors, not just red, blue, black, and green. So now that we know how to use the code, let's go ahead and jump into our HTML editor. I'm gonna go back and click on this, and I wanna show you how simple it is to change the colors. So from black, I'm going to change it to, let me zoom in so you can see. Again, the first one is your size, your style, and your color. So instead of black, let me go ahead and change it to red. Why not? And now let's go ahead and take a look. There you have it, red color. How cool is that? Now I'm going to go back, and from red, I am going to change it to blue. Why not? And there I have my blue border. Now you might say, what if you want custom colors? You can do that too. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for this particular website, which is coolers.co, which gives you all these different colors and you can pick and choose. Now let's just say I would like to change it to this bright. Again, do not use such bright colors in your canvas. Please keep accessibility in mind. I'm just showing it to you for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my HTML editor. I'm going to delete this blue and I'm going to paste. And again, it's very important you put that hashtag in front that tells HTML that this is a color. If you don't put the hashtag, nothing's going to happen. So now let's go back and change, uh, take a look. And there you go. I have this custom color just like that copied and pasted. Now let's go back here. Once you click on the color, you simply copy it by just clicking on it. Go back to your canvas page and change the code. Do not forget to have the hashtag because if you don't, then HTML does not know that it's a color. There you go. And now let me go back and change it to something very simple that we all can understand. So I'm just going to click on it, copy. Did I say understand? Who understands colors? Something that we all can see and not too bright. There you go. So that's how you change your color. Now this is done. Let's go back to our HTML editor. And here, let me show you how many different ways you can change the style of your borders. Instead of solid, I'm going to have as dotted, D-O-T-T-E-E-D. -E -E I hope I spelled it right. I will give you the list of all the styles in the description box below so you know what styles are allowed in your Canvas page. 
And once I click dotted, I am going to go back here. And there I have a dotted border. How simple is that? Let's go back and change it to double. You know what this color is? Uh, I'm just going to change it to blue. There you go. I have double border. And let's go back and change it to dashed. And I'm going to change my color to red. Why not? I have that option, right? There you go. I have dashed line. And let me show you how this works, changing the size of your border. I'm just going to make it to 15 just so you can see. And there I have it, 15. Now this makes much more sense when I have a solid border and you can see what's happening. There you go. Now that we have seen how to change the style, the size and the color of your borders, let's go ahead and kick it up a notch and see how we can customize and personalize our borders to have just a top line, the bottom, the left or the right. Again, you have to toggle to your HTML editor and here, you know what? The dashed line is too much. I'm going to go ahead and change it to five pixels instead of dashed. I'm going to say solid. I'm going to leave the color to red. In here, I can actually ask HTML to give me border to the left, border to the right. To do that, all you have to do is, let me zoom in just a little bit. Click on the border right next to your border, hyphen, and let's say left. And now let's see what happens. I only have the border to the left. How cool is that? And now let's go back and I'm going to ask HTML to give me a border in the bottom. And there I have a border in the bottom. Now I can even change the style of this. Now let's go back and say instead of solid, what if I want to have a double line border, a uh, double line line, double line line. Can I say that? Yeah, double line in the bottom. Or if I want to have a dashed line in the bottom, I can go ahead and ask HTML to do that as well. All you have to do is ask. And there I have a dashed line in the bottom. So you can actually customize to have one to the left, to the bottom, to the top, to the right. I don't know who would have it to the right, but let's go put it on the top and see what happens. There I have it. Now that we have seen how to create those square borders, now let's go ahead and explore deeper and see how we can create those circular or rounded corners. So here I am in my HTML editor and all you have to do is to look for the double colon click and paste the link that I will be leaving in the description box below. Again, it's very important to understand what this is because just copy and paste it, it doesn't work, you get very frustrated. So here I'm specifying when you see border and radius, automatically HTML knows it's a circle. And I'm going to go ahead and make it to four pixels so you can see what's happening. I'm going to go minimize my screen. I told HTML to give me a border to the top. So I'm going to change from top and I want to make sure it's a solid line and change the color to blue so we can see that. And as you can see, it's not completely straight. It's slightly curved. And if you're not happy with the rounded, the size of the rounded corners, let's go ahead and change here. You will change the radius. The larger the radius, the circular your border is going to be. So I'm going to change the radius to 15 and see what happens. There you go. This does look circular, but I think I can do better. I want it to be a complete circle like. So I'm going to go back to my HTML editor and I'm going to change it to 40 and see what happens. Oh, there you go. Now it's a complete circle. And as you can see, my text is not inside or aligned with my circular border. There is a fix for this one too. All you have to do is to go back and give your text a little bit of padding. And all you have to do is again, let me scroll in. You will click before the double colon, what, double colon, yeah, in a space and you'll type in padding, colon, I'm just going to give 10 pixel. And now let's go ahead and see what happens. There you go. So I'm telling HTML to give a little bit of padding to my text. So my text is nice and snug inside that rounded corner. I will leave all of this coding in your description box below. All you have to do is simply change and alter the colors, the sizes and the width. So let me 
And again, you will copy all of this and paste inside your HTML editor. The first one is the style and the border. The first one tells you the width of your border, the size. The next is the color, uh, sorry, the style. And the next is the color of your border. And if you see the word border radius, that means you know it is your rounded corners. And padding is just giving that space inside so your text is nice and snug. And again, all you have to do is simply change the colors and have fun with it. Stay tuned for more because in the next Canvas session, I will be showing you how to create this shaded borders, how to change the page color, add border to your page, change the colors of each and every paragraph and make your Canvas pages much more lively and interactive. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned how to create those fun borders in your Canvas pages. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are always trying to spice up their Canvas pages. I will leave a link in the description box below for Canvas and technology playlists. Do not forget to check them out. And don't forget to comment in the comment section below if you even tried these borders. Was this too overwhelming so I can improve myself for next time? I promise to make many more Canvas videos just so that we can have fun in our classes. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself. I will see you again in my next Canvas training video.